Hey guys, it's Saria. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is the very last installment this year of Forgotten Favorites. Um, if you guys have been following along, let me just give you a little refresher. Every single month, the entire year of 2021, me and a group of my friends have been posting videos dedicated to a forgotten favorite or an underrated Disney movie. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this collab kind of started to become a lot through the year just because keeping up with something monthly apparently is harder than it sounds. Um, I myself, I know that I missed one month um, out of this year, unfortunately, because I was just so sick. I literally couldn't film anything. Why am I talking about this? I'm such a downer. I guess the reason I'm bringing that up is because this month is a teeny tiny collab. It is me and my best friend Erica. Um, everybody else wasn't really able to get a video prepared for this month, really because of all of the Christmas and holiday stuff, right? Like it's such a busy month. I totally understand. Um, I'm just so grateful to everyone who was able to participate at all this year. And thank you to Jossam for starting us off with the Hunchback of Notre Dame way back in January. Um, be sure to go check out Erica's video after this one because I'll be honest, you guys, when I'm filming this, I have no idea what video area area. What? I'll be honest with you guys, as I'm filming this, I have no idea what video area. I just said it again. Be sure to go check out Erica's video after this one. I'll be honest with you guys, as I'm filming this, I do not know what video or what movie Erica picked. Um, I picked Treasure Planet. <laughs> Um, so in my personal opinion, I think Treasure Planet is one of the most underrated Disney movies. I know I say that like every single month that we do this, but really, truly guys, like, um, I did some research into this movie for this video and I'm going to share some facts with you guys, but I really, really do feel like this movie is still so amazingly underrated. And I think that that is spoken to just in the lack of merchandise, which is why I'm wearing my Sailor Moon ears because it's the best I could do. <laughs> so today's video was actually my husband's idea and I am, I, I'm like so excited to explain this to you guys. So um, he created a game for you guys, essentially. It is a virtual treasure hunt. Um, so it has an entire storyline. It's kind of, kind of like Dungeons and Dragons, but not really, and it's not that complicated. Um, so using Google, my husband basically created a treasure hunt game for you guys to play. I really do hope that you guys will get on and play it. I would love to see um, how you guys do and how you know quickly you can move through it or not so quickly and people like me. Um, <laughs> and, um, you know, just like, I don't know. I, I'm honestly, I'm going to go play it after this because my husband is the one who designed it. So I did like help him throughout, like just when I say help, I mean like he would test, test the questions on me. Like he would be like, okay, here's the question. How do you answer it? And then sometimes I would be like, I don't know what to do. And then sometimes I would get it the first time. So I'm explaining this so well. Okay, point being, after I finish up this video, I would like for you guys to go play our little virtual treasure hunt game and then come back and let me know how you did. The premise behind the treasure hunt is based off of the character Billy, who we do see in the movie, and he is the one that um, Jim actually gets the treasure planet map from. So if you guys have never seen Treasure Planet, I'm probably going to give a few spoilers in this. Um, but also, if you haven't seen it, I am under the complete assumption that you have made that choice in your life up to this point. Because this has been out for like 20 years or something like that. Um, Treasure Planet is based off of the book Treasure Island, which I'm sure most people are familiar with, either the book or the Muppets version of the movie. There's also another version of the movie that had the brother from uh, Home Improvement. Brad, I believe. <laughs> um, so there have been a few versions of this movie. Treasure Planet takes the story of Treasure Island and it puts it in space. Um, I have a fondness of astrology and space and stars and moons and all of that. That's partially why I was so into Sailor Moon as a kid. I just, I, I really do have a strong interest in space. Um, I've never wanted to go in my entire life. That's absolutely terrifying to me. But, <laughs> but learning about it, looking at it, seeing it, I think that it is like, astronomically beautiful and I just I'm I'm very interested in the information like I can dive very deep into the information that goes around planets and stars so when this movie came out when I was a kid I was so interested in it I loved it 
I loved it so much. It was like this action adventure movie. Um, it was one of the first times that Disney started incorporating CGI into their films. So um, all of the human characters are hand drawn, but anybody who's not fully human, um, specifically anybody who had like a robotic feature, either the cyborg or Ben, um, they did have some CGI like computer animation to them. I might be using the wrong words, by the way, but like I know that that is fact. Um, <laughs> And then <clears throat> also while I was researching this, I learned a few things just about like in general. Um, so some of these things might actually be questions on there because me and my husband were talking about it back and forth. So the good news is if you watch this movie all the way through, it'll help you with the treasure hunt that you're going to go play in a minute. Um, sorry if I'm ruining the surprise. But uh, so one of those pieces of information that I found interesting is that Jim Hawkins, who's the main character in the story, his... Um, portrayal of his character, like how he was animated, was based off of James Dean, which is really cool in my opinion. Um, and then a couple other like little tidbits is uh, his full name is James Pleiades Hawkins. And Pleiades is actually a constellation that's found in the um, same area as like the constellation Taurus. It's like a part of that. And I thought that, that was so fitting because in the movie, Jim is a really like stubborn character who like is very headstrong and is not going to be told no and not going to be told what to do, which are the traits of Taurus. So, oh my God, you guys, I'm having so much fun talking about this. And I'm like, this is probably my most boring video I've ever posted. Please let me know if you're still here at this point by telling me what your astrology sign is. And if you are anti-astrology, you can tell me that too, because at this point, we must be very close if you're still watching. Thank you. Okay, we're gonna move into another way of talking about this movie. So my favorite character in the movie is Morph. I love him, the little pink blobby guy who like shapeshifts. That's actually what inspired my eyeshadow and my pink sweater and my pink ears. And I actually put these on and then realized that they are, like they have moons on them. And I was like, that is so fitting. Um, so thank you, Rowan, for sending me these for my birthday last year. <laughs> Morph is so, he's so adorable. He's so integral to the plot. I really love characters that like don't even speak. They're just kind of like, they're usually animals, but they're not always animals. Do you guys know what it's like? Droids, like the droids in Star Wars. I love BB-8 and I love R2-D2. And I think that it's so impressive when they can create a character that doesn't even really speak all that often, or if they do, it's like gibberish, but yet you like love them, you know who they are, you root for them, you're proud of them. Like you feel all these emotions for this character when they haven't even like said two words during the film. I think that that's like a really impressive feat. So that's why Morph is my favorite character. I also do love Jim. I really do. I love his plot line. I love his mom. As a mom now, I can tell you guys, it like destroys my heart sometimes watching this movie. Um, because, okay, this is a spoiler. So like you might want to fast forward just a smidge, but um, Jim's dad does leave him and his mom and like abandons them and it's awful. And her heartbreak is not just for like her husband leaving her, but it's for her son being abandoned. And I think that they just did such a good job like displaying that in the very short amount of time that she's on screen. And I, I always appreciate Disney portraying like real family situations. I think that that is nice to see, especially for kids who grew up with a family that, you know, felt broken at times and um, maybe their parent did leave or maybe they grew up without a parent at all. I just think that it's, you know, it's helpful to see different types of family situations on screen. I think that it's nice. And I think Disney has really been working to show different types of families through the years. And I just think that I'm, I love that. I love that they make that effort to do that. Okay, that is going to wrap up my random talking about things that I love about this movie. But you guys, I'm telling you, this movie has like action. It has heartwarming moments. It's got a soundtrack that will light you up. It is so good. No, it's not a musical, but it does have an amazing soundtrack. The animation is beautiful. It is beautiful. It's like a combination of CGI and hand-drawn, and that's something you don't really get to see in movies a whole lot. So just based off of those things alone, and then morph the adorable little blobby guy that you should absolutely go fall in love with, please go watch this movie if you haven't already. And if you guys have and you were like, yes, Saria, I agree with everything you're saying. This movie is so underrated. Thanks for your support. <laughs> okay, so really quick, I'm gonna give you guys like a little synopsis of the plot line going into your treasure hunt. So Billy, who um, is the, kind of, kind of looks like a turtle, um, who shows up on, you know, the Hawkins' doorstep and he has the map and he gives it to Jim and he's like, 
don't let the cyborg get it, right? That whole moment. So our plot line that my husband came up with is that he actually had a secret stash himself. So he was kind of the right hand man of, I forgot his name again. I know it's Captain, Captain Flint. I forgot his first name. Nathaniel. Captain Nathaniel Flint um, entrusted him with this map and killed the rest of his crew. What a stand up guy. Yes, this is a kid's movie, believe it or not. So he killed everybody except for this one guy. And ironically, this one guy was the one guy who'd been stealing from him. So he was secretly stealing a little bit and a little bit more and a little bit more off of Treasure Planet and putting it away in his own safe place. And now we have the map and we're going to go find it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Be sure to go check out Erica's video as well. And of course, go play this amazing treasure hunt game that my husband made for us. Come back and let me know in the comments below how you guys did and did you enjoy it. And I will see you guys in my next video. A really quick shout out to my amazing, wonderful, fabulous husband, who is the reason that I have a video for today. Thank you so much, honey. I love you. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.